Tears welled up in my eyes as the plane neared Fiji, one step closer to my lifelong dream of visiting one of our ancestral homes, the island of Rotuma on the outer rim of the Fiji Islands. This is where mom, Lucy Manal Samuela Weber was born. I arrived in Nandi an hour before sunrise to light warm rain. It felt like a big, humid, earthy hug. I'm so grateful family friend Ryan Kafoa, who owns Fiji Tours by Locals, picked me up for the journey from Nandi Airport to the Le Suva. Ryan is also half Rotuman and grew up in Nandi. Uh, it's Ryan Munivai Kafoa. My dad uh, is from the island of Rotuma. They hail from the district of Malahaka. Before long, I spotted a frangipani or plumeria and placed it. It smells so good. Okay, now we're ready to go. We took the Queen's Road along the coral coast that runs along the southern edge of Viti Levu. Lush coconut palms, taro and cassava gardens ushered us in along with young ladies selling today's catch. It surprised me to learn from Ryan that even though Rotumans make up a sizable, recognizable minority in Fiji, he also grew up singled out Just, as different. Uh, we were different. We look different. It's a proud heritage. We not only look different, we are we're stronger and beautiful as well. We made our way to the Singatoka open air fruit, vegetable and seafood market full of beautiful, healthy, locally grown food from huge taro roots to fresh ginger, papaya, large, beautiful taro leaves, especially yummy for making palasami, green bananas, and of course, coconut from the Pacifica tree of life. Of course, I wondered what this was and Ryan teased me for thinking it was marijuana. Nope, it is rosella leaves, a locally grown sour spinach. By the way, marijuana is illegal in Fiji. I picked up some homemade coconut oil from this lovely couple, and Ryan advised on the best street vendor samosas, Indian spicy and sweet snacks, while we headed to the Maui Bay Jetty. After an overnight flight, I really wanted to dip my toes in the Pacific Ocean. Once again, the tears flowed. My heart swells, completely overwhelmed by all of God's artistry in the South Pacific. I know more fully why my mom missed home so much. And now I can see even more deeply what a sacrifice it was for her personally to leave all of this behind to start a new chapter for our family in a new life in the United States. Everywhere is a wonderful sign of her love and sacrifices for us. Thank you, mom. Like many Rotuans who live in diaspora, even those who grew up in Fiji, which is not far, they long to connect with their heritage. Unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't, me and my siblings have not been to Rotuma. So we grew older and we each had our own families. So now it's our children's turn. So we'd like to change that. I for one would like to teach my three children how to speak the Rotuman language. And, and uh, if possible, one day take them to Rotuma and uh, be part of, uh, be shown or be performed the Mamasa when we get there, so. I feel the same way, Ryan. I want that for my family and for any Rotuman descendant out there interested in connecting. We hope to help contribute to that effort through the Rotuma project. More to come soon from Vole Suva, the rainforest where my dad worked in the Peace Corps and where mom and dad lived when they were first married. Bula Vinaka, Fayexia, Thank you, Hanisiaf.